When I try and practice tea leaf reading for myself, uh, it can get rather, you know, complex because I don't quite know whether what I'm seeing is actually just a reflection upon what I've been obsessing about and what I've been thinking about, you know, I mean, that's why, I mean, the, the patterns look so random. It's very difficult to be able to make up your mind either way as to what it, you know, what the meaning of your collection of tea leaves is. I mean, we could go back into tradition, or we can try and go more towards intuitive reading. Now, when I'm going a little bit more meditative and a little bit more weird, then, you know, ideas can flow into my head. Sometimes if I distract myself and I stop concentrating quite so hard upon, am I seeing, I don't know, a double-decker bus in the tea leaves or, you know, an umbrella or a boat, and I think more about uh, what images are coming to my mind whilst I'm just, like, kind of like semi-daydreaming whilst looking at the patterns, then I can get more interesting visual imagery. Uh, but it comes through a bit like a hypnagogic hallucination kind of thing. And so it's all rather interesting, but still very weird.